So anyways, we are going to run through all of the reports that we need. Um, and then we have to open the close period. It only makes sense that you cannot roll back a file to a point in time if we're closed the books to today. So let's, I said it's uh, July 27th, 2020. So the books are likely closed to the end of um, June 2020. Now, th they may not be in my case because they are, uh, it is a demo account, but we're just going to take a roll through the action of closing of books. I use bookmarks for everything. So I have a bookmark for closing the books. Otherwise, you can go into here, you can, the gear icon, go into accounts and settings, go to advanced. Now you could make a bookmark and save yourself some time. Uh, go into advanced. Uh, oh, I did close the books. Um, we want to make sure that close the books is off. So make sure you toggle close the books to off. So we're going to save that. And then, so we've run the reports uh, to the point we're rolling back. We've run the reports for today. We've downloaded the, um, the account list. If you are heavy with products and services, you may want to run a products and services report just to be safe. Whatever it is for your account that is um, is, is trouble or whatever the case, you know, there's a lot of them, make sure that you uh, cover your base on knowing what it looked like in the point in time to today if you're rolling back the file. Because you can't get back a file that you've restored to April 1st because the data is gone now. So just make sure whatever you think is going to be your problem child and you may want to know about later that you run a report or you download some information on it. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go into banking and we need to go into rules. And the reason that we need to do that is because of the API of QuickBooks, you also cannot restore a file that has matched transactions in it. So uh, anything from March 31st or April 1st until today, July 27th, 2020, we need to make sure that we unmatch those transactions and that we exclude them and then we delete them. But the first thing we need to do is go into the rules. So we need to go into the rules because you may have some automated rules. This is what an automated rule looks like. And if you have an automated rule, you need to unautomate that rule because you have now told QuickBooks to add that transaction into the books. It shows up in the reconciliation so that you don't have to have any part of it. It just automatically happens. But it automatically happens. So if you delete transactions first and you don't unautomate a rule, you're going to be playing transaction whack-a-mole, and that game is not fun. You're going to delete the transaction. It's going to pop back into the, to the um, bank feed. You're going to delete the transaction. It's going to pop back in because that's what you've told the QuickBooks to do. So head on into here. This is a really good user tip also if you ha are having problems with the bank feed and you have duplicated transactions. Make sure that you unautomate transactions in that case as well. And then we're going to go into banking. Now, you can always delete uh, transactions or unmatch transactions in the register. You can also do them one by one, or you can do them from the reconciliation screen. There's all kinds of ways to find out what the match transactions are. But those seem to be giant time sucks to me. Why would you want to do that one by one? So this is another user hint. This is not just for advanced restore. This is a great idea to use for um, if you've got transactions that are in the reconciliation screen and they were mismatched, you don't want to delete the transaction. It just didn't match the correct one. Use this exact same process. So you go into review transactions, pick the date range. So, oh, you want to make sure that you've got all rules because you want to delete all of the transactions. We certainly want to, don't want to do all dates. But what we do want to do and use, um, I'm using the keyboard shortcut M to move back through the months. And I am going to take myself back to March 31st. Because we are uh, doing it for April 1st. Then we're going to go into today. I'm going to apply that date range. If you have a lot of transactions, I'm going to have to do it further back because I forgot that I actually rolled back this file. Let's go to last year. And then we'll go to today. I'm using the uh, shortcut key T on my keyboard. 
So we are going to go in and we are going to take a look. If you have a lot of transactions, use some caution on this and maybe do it month by month back to um, the point where you need to unmatch those transactions. So work backwards from today until the date that you're rolling the file back to. Then you can click them all and you can hit the undo button. And what happens then is it pulls all of those transactions out of the um, reconciliation screen, puts them right back into the for re, uh, into the excluded screen. No, into the for review screen. Right. Sorry, a little confusion there for Kelly. So it puts them all right back into here, and away we go. We have those transactions are now unmatched. What you can do then further is go ahead back into that same date range and uh, if you want, you can exclude and delete them and do all of that kind of stuff. But we worked our way through the review tab. We pulled them out of the reconciliation. They're no longer matched transactions and you're ready to go on your advanced restore.